Uh, hey everyone, this is Voltage McGammer once again with his Let's Play of Final Fantasy Tactics. If you didn't see the first video, uh, I don't blame you, it was just a test anyway. Let's begin, shall we? Let's play! So, yes, Final Fantasy Tactics is a turn based strategy game. Inside of it, you control a squad of units usually anywhere between four and six, with a possible seventh unit on your team, who would be a guest, an NPC that moves around for you. And, uh... Then the enemies also get their turns. Everything's pretty well based on stats. It's not balanced by any means, because this game was not designed for player versus player and online play and stuff like that, even though I think they rebalanced it for online play. I don't know exactly how it worked, I don't own the PlayStation Portable version. But yeah, this was a very nice game. Yeah, a couple secrets in it. Rather enveloping story. And in general, it was just really good for me back then. It was probably one of the first games I ever actually beat without the use of a guide. I didn't uncover all the secrets, but yeah. Also in reference to how this guy is a young man back then, I mean, he looks like he's 16 to me. But back then, you have to keep in mind, people only lived until they were like 30. They were lucky if they made it to 50. I'm pretty sure some people's names in this game, or ages rather, will be something like 70 or something. That's completely unrealistic. But then again, this is a fantasy game. Nothing's realistic, it's a fantasy game. Yeah, if you can't tell, the church doesn't really like the main character so much. Of course we will, Oslem. A journey for truth and justice! What? You want my name and birthday? Well, screw you, Oslem. Anyway, let's see here. For names, I'll go with... Ramza. Or Ramza, however you say it. And as for a birthday... Roulette. There we go. That's fine. And now... Cutscene! Right at the very beginning of the game. Now back when this was made, this was like the cutting-edge cutscene. Nowadays, you'll probably see graphics equal to or better than this just walking around the game world. Ah, oh, how technology rolls on. So, uh, yeah, if you can't tell by now, this game considers the Zodiacs to be pretty important. Although, in actuality, in terms of game mechanics, the Zodiac symbols aren't really all that great. Basically, if your Zodiac signs are neutral, you'll do everything normally. If your Zodiac signs are favored, you, got, you will heal slash hurt them for more and have greater chances of doing stuff. And, uh, if they're bad, the reverse is true. Your effects are lessened. It's just like a minor little detail that's in the game. Ooh, it looks like a ruin. And, uh, knight riding a chocobo. I don't know how they're really pronounced, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. You want to fight about it? Well, too bad. I run away from your fight. So, knight has some minions. You know... He's all decked out in all this fancy armor and stuff, but his minions, they they look like they're wearing, I don't know, leather and rags and other uncool stuff. What gives? I mean, was he the only person in the group to get any money? Is he stealing from the other people? Is he cutting them short? I don't know. Oh, well, at least they were all able to afford Chuck of Mouse. Ah, water. How you've evolved. And green. Lots and lots of green. Green's my favorite color. And this is what, probably one of my favorite games. Coincidence? 
I think so. Green, lots of green, lots of green, lots of green, lots of green, 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 lots of green, lots of green, green, green. And the music is absolutely epic. I love this music. It's beyond its time. Very classical, very epic, very fancy. Majestic. And uh, the group of Chugaba writers have reached the monastery. Uh, wh what time am I at? Uh, I think I'll go through this extra little scene before I stop. Orban Monastery. Or however you pronounce that. Oh, I'm gonna stop saying that. I'm gonna pronounce it however I feel like it. God. Man, they talk to God a lot in this game. But then again, there are a lot of religious figures. Huh, female knight. I wonder who that is. Ah, Agrius. Okay. And that's a princess. A lot of games have princesses. A lot of games also have priests. Hey, there's that Ramza guy. And we're following a black knight. I guess the root of all evil thing is true. What issue is urgent? OQ10? What's OQ10? Ah, so it's a impressive group or something. And he just insulted the holy lady there. Princess doesn't seem to care though. And they walk. That's a very priestly thing to say. Oh, oh no, she's bleeding! No, wait, no, she's just wounded. I don't see any blood. But something bad's going on. Prince Goltana? That doesn't sound good. She just takes off running. Ugh, oh, so he apparently has some black history. I wonder who that hip guy who was not talking, who was in our group apparently, wasn't there. What? Don't use this name in vain. Now, Libby. Libby. Oh, here we go. The first battle of the game. But, I'll save the battle for next vid. After I do all this stuff. Crest of the Black Lion? How is that important? Oh, so Goltana leads the Black Lion. And he's apparently an idiot. Knave! That's a very medieval word to use. Ah, I like that. Yup, and that's exactly why you are also going to attack them head on. Seems like he wants his money. Rad! That's an awesome name. Too bad it was changed in the PSP, I think. And next time, we'll start off here. See you later, everyone.